Okay, and we're live. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing fine myself. Just, um... <laughs> taking care of my school stuff as quickly as I can. As it... as things be. Okay, that's it. Alright. I'm just, uh... But yeah, things are going all well on my part. Why does it stare at me? So joyful, so carefree, so annoying. Okay, so... We took care of... The Toad Guy. And we got a bomb power. And thanks to this bomb power, we're now able to go to a lot of areas, but... Oh boy, that's not going to narrow down my options a whole lot, unless... Wasn't there a wall here that I could bust open? Must be. Not this way. Yeah, things have been fine on my part, just, um... Just making sure everything's fine by the end of the semester, because... That's coming up soon. It's like a few weeks. Which feels weird, but... It is what it is. Let's see. Overgrown Ruins. Throne of the Frog King. Mushroom Dungeon. Flooded Fortress. I didn't even see that. Hold on. There's a shiny thing down there. There we are. Found a surveillance device. It looks like someone has been spying on the commission. This appears to be a Reaper's abandoned logbook. The recent seismic event has sent upper management into a frenzy. We've been ordered to scrub all mentions of it from the records and close all active assignments in the region. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so some kind of seismic thing happened that caused upper management to be like, oh, fuck. Uh, we have to abandon all of this area because the seismic stuff is getting a little dangerous. Recall, like, cancel all the assignments. What about all the other Reapers out there? What Reapers? <laughs> and then they just kind of were left, and those are the dead Reapers that I keep finding in this game. That's the fire thing. Where was the harbor one? I think that was like the major one to take care of. Ceramic Manor. Here it is, I think. Yes. Well, I have a bomb power up, so this might do something. Oh, hello. Hello again, little bird. Me come far and wide, see many thing. World outside very beautiful. Live, love, laugh, live. That all grunt want. Oh, that's right, that's the guy I freed from the Frog Palace. Received the grunt's old mask. It seems this grunt is loyal to a new leader now. Oh, he's oh he's wearing like a bird head. Oh, that's cute. That's nice. I like that. All right. I get some strange customers. You wouldn't believe it. One guy has a pot for a head. Have you ever seen anything so unusual? Nice guy though. Loves my fish head soup. Would you like to try in any of my freshly prepared delicacies today? Great! One delicious meal coming right up! I sure do love preparing food with my multi-digital mammal hands! Now let me tell you a little something while you ingest nutrients. To the west of the cemetery, behind a rock you will find a passage. Cemetery, rock, passage. But it will require some kind of powerful force of explosion to break open. 
You look like a sprightly young biped. I'm sure you could get down through a sewer grate, right? I've heard there is a secret through a sewer pipe in the overgrown ruins. Through a sewer pipe in the... Wasn't I trying to look for that before? Yeah, there was that, and then there was the stuff in the previous areas with the pot lady, but I got those. So a rock behind the cemetery and a sewer pipe. I heard there's a cracked wall deep in some of some dank dungeons with a secret behind. Perhaps applying a large force to that wall might open a path. That's all I have for you now. Okay, so rock. So a rock I can bust open. And a so something in the cemetery, cemetery, something in the cemetery, something in the overground ruins, and then some kind of wall somewhere I can bust open. So I gotta go to the cemetery. Lost cemetery. Okay, so to the west. Problem is, is that there's no, I don't see any cardinal directions in this game, so I'm gonna have to take the word of West over here. Can't go in there. But yeah, we need to use these bombs. That's for certain. Need to keep my eye out, I guess. Okay. Stranded sailor, and yeah, this tower is a twin, but I don't know where that is. This is where the sailor was. Hmm. I didn't get this already, because then you wouldn't have... Aha! Aha! take a bit to adjust to get back into this game, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm in no rush. We're in no rush here. We're all pals. Alright, so... Was it? No. I'm wrong. least, you know, these aren't super plot important secrets, at least as far as I know. I imagine these will just help me get some more health, which frankly I would really love. Like, that would be really lovely. Okay, then down here, and then this way, and then we're good. All right, let's try this again.
damn it. <laughs> I keep getting flattened. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. Maybe it'd be better if I swap to a different weapon. No, that won't work. Let's try the sword again. Because I stuck with the hammer for a bit and that worked for me, but... The sword ha might have a larger range, which will help, and along with more swings. That's mean. Oh, come on! Wait, does that still count? It still counts, because I got the souls, right? And the ladder went down? I hope it did. I'd have better done hope it did. Hopefully that fight done, I can keep going. So there was that, and then there was... Something about a sewer grade in the overgrown ruins that I just don't know where it is. Oh, come on! Ow. There we go. Jackass. Jackass of, of a night. Alright, this probably boosts the magic, the, or the magic boost thing, that's what I spotted. Yes? Yes. Shard complete. The completed one fills month. Yay! Got more. More magic. Okay. With that done, I now have more ammo. So, which means the next. The 
next uh, spot is the Overgrown Ruins with the uh, sewer grate. Head this way back to the door and then we'll be good. That's the pot lady. I think the ruins were this way. Yes. Uh, overgrown ruins. Here we are. All right. So I gotta find some kind of sewer uh, pipe or sewer grade. the sewer pipe. Let's see, this took me here. And I think I've already been to this segment, right? Yes, I did. I did already go there. In that case, then... Hey, combo. I'm just uh, doing a little bit of exploring because there's some side stuff that I was informed about. Trying to see if I can get an, uh, an increase to my health because God knows I need it. Or, or at least I feel like I need it. Uh, but yeah, I just uh, hope you've been doing well. I've been having a fairly normal time of things myself. I, um... I learned about that Sonic Classics collection that recently came around, and it's like... And it's like, okay, classic Sonic games that have been given the Christian Whitehead treatment. Like, if you know Christian Whitehead, if, or if you don't know him, rather, he's the guy that did mobile ports of the Sonic Classic games that gave them much-needed quality-of-life improvements. And a lot of time... And for the long of time, or long, long of time, the longest time, fans had wanted those improvements on consoles because it's like, yeah, you know, our, 
on the phones is fine, but we kind of want these on consoles because that's the that's the true experience. And that came, it happened, but apparently the pre-order stuff, like they're heavily encouraging the prospect of pre-ordering, which, you know, doesn't sound so bad on its own, but it's actively locking out all of these interesting content things due to that. And I was like, oh no. And a lot of people were also like, oh no. So yeah, Sega kind of did a dumb move there. That's kind of the major thing that I that sort of drew me today. And then Devolver Digital fucking pulled the fucking giant nut move of one-upping Sega on that whole announcement thing. It was so funny. Like, I don't... Like, I, I try to, at the... I try in these day and age, or this day and age, not to, you know, say, oh man, this is... Blank is, like, industry standard how a publisher slash developer should be because I've been burned by that philosophy in the past, i.e., you know... CD Projekt Red, um, fucking Nintendo too, one too many times, but D Devolver Digital, from what I've seen, have proven themselves to be run in a fairly funny way. They, they have a sense of humor about them, and whoever is in charge of their marketing department's a genius, or at the very least, they, they're quick on the draw. Definitely quicker than, uh, Saturday Night Live writers. So, yeah. That was a lot of the uh, major dumb stuff that happened lately. Just hearing about that uh, Sonic announcement. But I mean, Sega doesn't know what to... Sega doesn't do well with making sure Sonic can be profitable and not cause ire to occur. What else is new? Like, uh... See if I can find the Twitter post. Because it was for one of their games that they're publishing, but I forget what. It was with... Yes. Okay, found it. Trek to Yomi. Like, and the post says, Our marketing department created a handy guide to pre-ordering Trek to Yomi. Because the Sonic thing literally was a pre-order guide as to which version you ought to pre-order if you want certain content. And it's like, fuck you, Sega. And, yeah, Devolver Digital just, you know, slamming their mic on the table and saying, try beating that. So, yeah. Giga Chad Energy. But besides that, it's been a pretty boring day. Um, took care of homework, uh, made sure uh, things were properly settled. Uh, semester's ending soon, and I uh, will have a convention to get to go to sometime, which will be interesting, because I haven't been to one in, Jesus, like over two years at this point. Oh man, it's gonna feel weird going back to one, because, like, COVID really did rock the world in, in the most wrong way imaginable, you know? It really did cause just so many problems to either surface or, or be created and surface. You know, obviously the, con the not going to cons thing sucked, but I was willing to let that go, but... The fact that I'm going to a con for the first time in a long while, that's... That's gonna be one that... That's... that That's gonna hit. That's gonna hit different, you know? That's gonna be something. I, I've still got the one coming up this week, and I hope you have a good time at it. I really do, because... Cons can be some of the most fun you'll ever have at a special event. In some cases, probably more so than what others might consider a super special day, like prom or a wedding. Uh, or 
or a graduation, I don't know. <laughs> I kid, but there are just some occasions where in the past I've been to, like, these big events and it's like, okay, but I'd really rather be at a con right now. Like, I, I, for instance, was never into the prospect of going to prom in high school, ever. For three years of my high school life, I never went. Obviously, like, freshmen and sophomores couldn't attend, but juniors and seniors could. And in my senior year of high school... I was milling over the prospect because my friends wouldn't stop saying like, Oh man, it's like one of the most important things you have to do in your high school life. You gotta attend prom at least once. And I'm like, but that's the same weekend as Comic Palooza and I'd rather go there. <laughs> I'd rather do Comic Palooza. Which, um, for those that don't know what that is, it's like a really big comic convention that happens in Houston. Usually around, around the summertime, early summer. Although I don't know what time it's happening this year, but I don't live in Texas anymore, so it doesn't really matter. But point is, I would have rather done that, and then I finally bit the bullet, they twisted my arm enough, and I was like, fine, I'll go to prom. And I had more fun at the dinner and the limo ride to and from the prom than actually at the prom, because it was not for me, I did not care to be there, and I hated that I had to rent a tux just to do it once and then not do it anymore. And it's like, really? I can't remember my school having one. I've been asked out once and... Th I don't think they ever did one. Yeah, it's... Like... For the people that, you know, see it as that, I'm not trying to detract it from anyone, you know? Like, God forbid if I ever try to judge somebody or try to at least judge an event and say like, no, you're stupid for liking this. No, no. If people want to enjoy prom and do that, do their own thing with it, then they're more than happy to. Hell, encourage that. I'm not gonna judge you as to what events you want to go to, just don't judge me for mine. If I say I'd rather go to Comic Palooza and watch a bunch of cosplayers dancing around to Gungam style, then that's my deal. Remember, this was around 2014 to 2015, so that was, so the Gundam style thing was relevant around that time. <sighs> or, um, or if I wanted to go see some cool comic book people, or pop media people. Hell, one of the, when I went to Comic Palooza, like, in my sophomore year, I believe? I think that was the first time that I ever actually got to talk to a voice actor, or at the very least, interact with one. Which was super huge for me, because it was Johnny Young Bosch, and I fucking love Johnny Young Bosch. So, yeah, getting to interact with him at a convention for the first time was fun. He signed my Devil May Cry 4 poster, and I still have that in my room. It's also thanks to that that I've learned the importance of silver sharpies and of silver colored sharpies and gold colored sharpies. Those are very vital for any person that is that is doing signings for things. So, yeah. Basically what I'm saying is different strokes for different folks and nobody should judge each other based on their strokes. You just say, good stroke, bro, and then just move on with your life. <laughs> the grunts were punishing me by saying that. Alright, so... I'm looking for a sewer pipe or a sewer grate of some kind. You are strong, like mother. Okay, so that was an alternate entrance into the dungeon. But yeah, the school I went to in particular was not really eventful in any capacity. Despite being a school in Texas, it was a school in suburb Texas, which essentially meant, like... Essentially, it just meant, like, not a lot of exciting things happened there. Um... I think some of the most exciting things that went down 
Good stroke, bro. Yeah, 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 exactly. Just say good... Just don't judge, just say good stroke, bro, and then leave it at that. Like... <laughs> I just... <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm picturing... <laughs> I'm picturing an event where it's like... You're you're in a debate class or something or in a debate club, and and like you've got a mic and like it's a bit more freeform, not so much like on a podium, but you're just sort of on stage talking and you're giving your speech and then you're giving uh, then your opponent's giving theirs, uh, and then just at the end of it, after all is said and done. You and your opponent, debate opponent, shake hands, and you're just like, "Yeah, good stroke, bro. Yeah, good stroke." <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, just have it be like that. Don't be like good game or anything. Just say good stroke, good stroke, bro. Make that, make that the the popular thing to say at the end of competitive leagues. Like, Im imagine in the FGC or something, they're doing, like, their sets of Guilty Gear Strive or whatever, and they're like, and the players just bump hands and they're like, yeah, good stroke, bro. I don't know, I think that'd be funny. But, in any case, um, I might have told this story before, but there was an incident, well, not incident, there's this tradition that my school did. And apparently this was not an exclusive thing to my school, because a lot of other schools in Texas did this. Um, they did this PSA kind of production thing that brought awareness up of drinking and driving. Like, underaged as well. As, as well. So, obviously, something you ought to bring up. You know, you make sure your kids are, make sure your kids are safe, know the dangers of it. Um, recognize, you know, when to stop, when to make things, when to have the preventative means of, you know, making sure it doesn't happen. Uh, but to say that they go overboard to some extent in Texan schools, I mean, it, it's, it's a lot. It, it's, <laughs> it's a lot. Um, the program was called Shattered Dreams. And how it worked was the school's theater program would get together with the school, with the uh, local emergency authorities, like the ambulances, the law enforcement, the fire department, all that, and they would get these, and they would edit together and do makeup of, of like gore effects and everything, and get an absolutely destroyed car from the local dump. Or some, or the, or the yard ship. I, I don't, I don't remember the exact term for it, but they would get all of this stuff to put together a whole ass production over this PSA, and they, they kind of get the message across a little too strongly, if that makes sense. Like, it's not so much the. It's essentially just a massive, well-produced scare tactic. And I'm not saying that, like, oh, they're wrong for teaching this. I'm saying that the method of teaching is a little, um, too good at its job. And you're probably thinking, well, what do you mean by that? Like, how do you mean a little too good at its job of scaring people into realizing the horrors of, you know, unsafe driving? There was one year, and the, the thing about it is that we had to sort of witness the aftermath, in quotes, of the, of the fictitious crash. And during one of these aftermaths, uh, you know, one of the kids in the theater production did a little too good of a job acting like their friend had just went through a horrific crash and was dying. And one of the girls in the crowd of students fainted and hit her head on the curb and the emergency services had to take her away because they did too good of a job and she fainted from the shock so it's like fuck man like you could tone it down a little bit
Um, and another thing that they would do, like apparently other schools in Texas had a different means of uh, bringing this PSA about, but mine had this prospect of others, like besides just putting that whole production together of filming a car accident and, you know, having the students, you know, play dead, some of the other, some of the other students would also be uh, made to dress, made up to look like their skin had lost all of its color, and that they were dead, like they had been dead for a while, and they would just walk around the school not talking to anybody because corpses can't talk. Um, like they could still react to us, you know? They're just meant to walk around and be ghostly looking, which again kind of weird, but it, it, again, it gets its point across, but I'm just wondering if it's a little too well at its point. These are the people who should be getting Oscars. Yeah. Yeah. If, if my memory is correct, the year that they managed, the year that they did too good of a job and made that girl faint, that, that, that is, that is pretty much Oscar worthy. Or at the very least, they deserve some kind of award for it, but... I'd say for future notes, just tone it down a little bit, but that might just be me. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how... I mean, I don't know how, you know, this kind of PSA stuff works. I just know, hey... Uh, tone it down a little, guys. It's kind of like, um... It's kind of like the guilt-tripping thing of, uh... Of making these PSAs about guilt-tripping, and it's just like, you know, you could tone it down a little bit. Like, I get that you might, you know, want these the best for these circumstances, but... You don't need to make people feel like Garbo about it. <laughs> I don't know. So that doesn't work. But yeah, high school in Texas had its interesting bits, but those interesting bits weren't exactly things that you could be like, oh man, we had the weirdest shit happen, dude. Like, we had a lot of the typical things that high schools had. You know, we had fights, we had, um, occasional odd bits of a student or a teacher acting up. <laughs> like, I'm trying to, oh God. Um, what was one bit that was good? Uh, there was an incident where somebody broke the glass on a uh, vending machine because the, their uh, candy got stuck in it. You know, like the classic gag of like, Oh, haha, ha, your, your candy got stuck against the glass. Somebody rammed into it to try and loosen the, loosen the candy up, and he broke the glass. So it's just like... Yeah. Like, alright, that's a funny moment. That's a cool elevator guy. Yeah, he's... Uh, this game's very charming in how it designs its... its uh, people in the characters. In terms of driving PSAs, I, I do wish we did more public transit. People gave more space to bikes on the road. It's so slowly getting better. Oh, God. Oh, man, public transit. I wish that was just such a much greater thing. Like, I've talked about this with my parents a few times before, too, about how how it's just how a lot of the major issues about travel cost and everything could be solved if, if public transportation were just more accessible or at the very least a lot more clean in certain aspects but due to how large America is we have to have cars you know our own personal thing or you know, we're not going to be able to get to point A to point B very well, because all of our... 
all of our states and everything are just so spread apart from each other. Like, we're so wide as a country that we need these cars, or we need at least some strong transport, like airplanes and things, but... I don't know. Bring a railroad system in. Bring some kind of railroad transit. Because there are states that do have metros and things like that. Minnesota's got one. Uh, New York has one. I think Chicago... No. Does Illinois have one? I think, I think parts of California have like a trolley system. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. But as far as what other states have, I mean, yeah, they have those large groundhog buses, but you gotta rent those a lot of the time, and, you know, those end up costing a shit ton of money to even afford passage onto it. It's like, there's no winning. There's no winning with it. I don't know. If I could just be able to take a train from one state to another and pay extra for something like an overnight train ride, that would be fantastic. I wouldn't have to worry so much about going to conventions or how much airfare would cost. Let airfare be the luxury thing. Like, that's the problem, is that when something new is built a lot of the time, it's for the... It's for the people that afford the luxuries of it, as opposed for it to being a practical application into what someone would currently need. Like, an average Joe, you know? Like, average Joe Schmo would certainly like an easy way to get to work that doesn't involve sitting in traffic for hours, as opposed to Rich McButthuge, or Rich McBallsmalls, who has the money to afford plane rides that go from state to state super easily, but, you know, I don't know. I just think a, tr a transit system that's a bit more common and relatively easy could help. And building those could be able to provide jobs, but that's getting into more economy stuff that, frankly, I don't really know much about. For all I know, I could be talking out of my ass regard regarding this stuff, but... I we should get big buff dudes to carry to carry the on you online cars. Oh yeah, we should get people like the the train guy, the transport dude. We need those. Yeah. Where the fuck is this sewer pipe? But yeah. Forget cars. We need to have that classic, like... God, we need, like, Krunk and the main villain from Emperor's New Groove situation, where it's just buff dudes carrying us around on, uh... Carrying people around in, in carriage things, in, like, veiled carriages. That's the, that's the true dream of any transportation major. Or anybody that's, like, got dreams of helping transportation become more streamlined. The guys get a workout, and the people, the people that uh, transport them get a workout, and you know people can get to have a relaxed ride. Hmm. Where in the name? God, is this sewer pipe? I already got that thing down there. where this supposed pipe is because like he just says okay there's a pipe in the in the overgrown ruins that you could be able to fit in but I can't find it <laughs> I have no idea where it is 
Like, I see stuff that's around that area, but it's probably not it. Oh, hello. I haven't seen that. Oh. Looks like I gotta look this up. Sorry, peeps. I, I'm just... I don't want to be wandering around all stream trying to figure this out. Did you 420 blaze it today? No. I don't have that stuff. And even then, I don't smoke. In any capacity. At all. above them, drop down, and press attack. Wait, what? Wait, you just attack them from up, from up on high? Are you serious? Motherfucker! Oh my god. So that's it. Oh. Well, I feel dumb. But at least I get a health upgrade. Okay, well now I know. I didn't realize that those were like the fucking sewer systems in Mario Sunshine. If only I knew that uh, prior, but... Ah. Okay, good to know. Finally got that. So we can leave here. Leave here and never come back. I've got 1300. Does that get me any upgrades? I'll have to check. Alright, well, now that I know that, I think I should be able to, um,. I think I should be able to... If I see another one of those circle pipes, I'm gonna check those out. Keep thinking you're supposed to walk into the mouth. Yeah, this game probably would give that vibe off, huh? But nope. Okay, thank God. I can fucking... finally move on somewhere else. Now, I don't remember what was the last tidbit that uh, the squid guy gave me. Something about a big rock somewhere. So where is that supposed to be again? I'll have to go again. Check. Wasn't there a thing here that I could do, too? No, it just looks like a... Okay. Guess not. Actually, wasn't there a spell upgrade that I could get somewhere? 
was like right uh, here, I believe. Like, or somewhere in here. Uh, yes, but I need some kind of power-up that I do not have yet. I keep, mm, we'll keep it. Like, I imagine it's gonna be some kind of grappling hook thing or, or magic power-up of some kind. So we'll have to see. Alright, let's have another soup, and then we can see if I missed anything. Greetings, fellow biped. My name is Jefferson, a humble bartender and seafood enthusiast at your service. Could these human hands prepare you a delicious meal today? Great! One delicious meal coming right up. I sure do love preparing food with my multi-digited mammal hands. Okay. Now let me tell you a little something while you're ingesting nutrients. I heard there's a cracked wall deep in some dank dungeons with a secret behind. Perhaps applying a large force to that wall might open a path. Since the Frog King flooded the lands to the east, many old structures have become in inaccessible. One such structure can still be reached by firing an arrow into the distance through a stone arch. So to the east, stone arch. There's a sewer not too far from here that might lead to treasure. Although if there's no treasure in there, don't blame me. It's a sewer after all. Okay, so the rock thing gives no uh, indication as to where the hell it may be. So something in the Frog King's flooded area. And a sewer thing here that I can enter. I think. Oh, hello! Well, hello there, fellow traveler. Go on, tell all. How's your adventure going? Got any exciting tales I can knock out a song about? Reason being, I'm up in these here mountains seeking seeking inspiration for my next masterpiece. I heard a monster lives up in the mountaintops. Can you believe it? That drunk fell outside the stranded sailor says he lost his love to the beast. Fancy that? The way I see it, there's got to be one heck of an epic ballad awaiting me up ahead. If only I could smash up these blasted rocks plocking the path. Don't need to twist my arm, buddy. Look at that, mate! You smashed it! You're a legend! You might even be the inspiration for my next big tune! Yeah, if it's all the same to you, I might just tag along with your adventure. See you around! It just hit me what was going on. Yeah, I'm just doing some exploring and, um... and beating up random stuff. Don't you just love doing your multi-digited hands for every task? Yes. Yes, I love my multi-digited mam mammalian hands. Am I so out of touch? I need to use my multi-digited mammalian hands in order to prepare these delicious luncheons. Pardon, pardon my rough Principal Skinner impersonation. I, I have not practiced that voice very often. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. All right, what's this way? There we go. Hey, magic crystal. Do 
beautiful. Okay, that led me all the way over there. Okay, so then there's something with the Frog King area. An arrow through a stone archway. archway. I'm trying to think what it could mean by that. Hmm. Alright, let's see if I can get upgrades. Um, yes I can. I can get... Yeah, let's get more dexterity. Oh, that's nice. That is some nice attack speed. I'll take that. Throw another Frog King. Overgrown Ruins. Excuse me, had a big crack. So, Stone Archway. That's wood. It said arrow. Too far. Stone archway. Yo, does your place have a have bike ride ability? Yeah, we have we, we have bike ride ability and bike paths and all that. But the thing is, I'm not much of an outdoorsy guy. So giving me a bike, like unless I have somewhere to go that's within bike riding distance, which most of the time is not the case, then I'm not really going to ride a bike. Like, there are bike paths and everything, and people do cycle for exercise and everything. I just am... I, I just don't really have a reason to use a bike at this time. You know, never say never when it comes to these things, but... I... yeah. I just don't really need the... I don't really see the reason in getting one for myself or using it unless I'm living in an area where using a car is incredibly cumbersome. Like, say, an inner city area or something. Because, uh, like my uncle, for instance, he lives in a big city area and he uses his bike to get to work and everything, even though he has a car. Because... I don't know if you know this, but using a using a bike in an inner city area is really, really, really awkward. Like really awkward. It's part of the reason why a lot of times in larger cities people don't really bother with getting licenses if they, you know, live there all their lives, because you know, it's just like what's the point? We we just use bikes or things like that. Because, like, not a whole lot of stuff around town that is within bike riding distance are things that I would say are really that worth going to. Like, I could go to the library, for instance, uh, on a bike, but I don't really feel like going to the library. I mean, I'd like to just grab mine and go out just to see what's going on, but there's this huge road active 24-7 separating everything. Yeah. Like... To get really anywhere, you gotta go down the interstate, and the other thing is that the Midwest is so vast and full of just tons of farmland, and it's just not really worth it, you know? It's not it's not really worth heading into t if you're just going for, um... I don't know. You wouldn't make a grocery run on a bicycle if, if the only grocery you if the only grocery store you knew was in a neighboring town. That's that's what I'm... 
I don't know. I'm not. I'm not explaining myself very well. But essentially, I the only times where I probably would get a bike for myself would be if I was living in an inner city area. Because at that point, it's too awkward to use a car unless I'm doing cross state travel. But I would much rather do cross straight straight cross state travel. If, you know, say, uh, uh, if, say, there was a more consistent form of that travel instead of having to rely on gas powered air, gas powered planes, but that's getting into fuel stuff. I'm not gonna try and get too deep into all that, but yeah. Essentially, bike good transportation prospects and gives you exercise. Uh, I don't see the reason in having one myself quite yet, but sometime in the future, maybe. Maybe. Because I remember liking riding bikes when I was a kid, I just... It's just the practicality of it isn't exactly striking me. Because the only... Excuse me. The only reason why I would own a bike at this day and age is for exercise, for um, for the purposes of just working out or going outside for some fresh air. But I'm not exactly a person that does all of that. I'm not, I'm not a very, you know, go out and see the world kind of person unless if I'm doing it for large events like going on vacation or something like that. It's part of the reason why I do my working out at my house. Like, I just don't really... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really an out-of-the-house out kind of dude. Yeah, I'm, that's that's essentially it. I've, that's that's my whole deal, I guess. Sorry if I'm not explaining myself very well. It's just that just be how it be. Okay, so I imagine it's this flooded area that would have the secret, right? So something in a stone archway. Now, oh my god, I encountered a really weird glitch there. Okay. But, yeah. I... I... Yeah. S sorry for kind of just rambling a bit. It's, it's just... That's just how it be. I'm not opposed to using a bike. Just kind of unsure as to the practicality of it, given, you know... I'm not an outdoorsy dude. All right, so we've gotten all of that. We got that. That couldn't have been the secret, right? No, that couldn't have been. Damn, bro, looks like I'm gonna have to move to Denmark. I mean. Europe has a pretty good public transport system, as far as I know. I mean, like, you might encounter some oddballs, but at least it'd be... I mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't been to Europe yet. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I plan on going to Sweden sometime this year, but I've, I've not been to Europe, so I would not know. <laughs> I would not know. Like, would that be a fun prospect? Yes. Do I find it... Like... I don't know. I don't know. Oh my 
gotta find the door again to, uh... I doubt that was the secret that the... Gonna meet Joel. Like, Vine Sauce Joel? I think he's Swedish. Oh, oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he, he lives in the... I think if I, if by some very bizarre chance, if I happen across him, I would say hi. But I don't, I wouldn't be going to Sweden just to see Joel Vinesauce, if you get my drift. Much like how I wouldn't just go to New York to see Vinny. Like, I'd mostly just go because I want to see sights. <laughs> I want to see sights and experience cool stuff. But... I don't know. But yeah, I am planning on uh, going to Sweden this year. It's... Um, we're, we're currently working out the kinks of the whole thing because... Uh, what we're planning on is it just being me and my dad going. And... We would arrive in Stockholm and just kind of hang out around Sweden for 10 days and then head back uh, to America. The problem is figuring out the time frame. Uh, because we had this initial idea. You're looking in the wrong place for Vinny. You should go to Italy. Yeah, if only. But any, but anyway, um, we uh, we initially thought, oh, let's just do early December. You know, that's after that's after the fall semester would be over. So my dad would have at least a couple weeks of free time before having to plan the spring, and I'd have been freshly graduated, so I wouldn't have to worry about school ever again because I will be done with college for a while. Um, but then it turns out that this fall semester is. Like, this year's fall semester is going to be ending a bit later than normal, so... Sadly, it looks as though we're going to have to plan our Sweden trip to be around Christmas, which... I mean, it isn't the end of the world, but... You know, you spend Christmas with your family, you know? You, 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 you go and spend Christmas with your family, because that's just what you do. I mean... I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. But maybe I can look up stuff that can be done in Sweden around Christmas and that might perk my interest more. I don't know. Because the other thing is, the other part of the reason of going to Sweden is one, I want to finally go overseas. Because I'm 25 and I'm turning 26 this year and I would like to at least go overseas bef once before I turn 30. Um, and the other reason is, frankly, I just, uh, I'm also interested in my family ancestry because a lot of my, my, a lot of my dad's half of the family comes from that Scandinavian region. So I'm interested in to see what, uh, kind of cool things I can learn about my, or cool things I can see from the Swedish side of my, uh, dad's ancestry. Hey again, pal. Hope you don't mind me tagging along. Seems like we'll need to find a way through this old fortress if we want to get up that mountain. Well, I say we, I mean you. I'll just hang around here and work on the lyrics for my next banging tune. Let me know if you find a way up. Like, I'd probably want to, like, I'd want to go to Croatia for the same reason, because my mom's half of the family is very heavily Croatian, and I even have relatives that live in Croatia, so it's not like I wouldn't, it's not like I'd be an absolute fish out of water there. But yeah, overseas is usually some, like, overseas travel a lot, at least be on some, everybody's bucket list at least once. E like, even if it's just not an all, 
encompassing like, oh, I'm gonna take months to have a full-on, like, world's sh world bended transformation. You don't need that much. Just go for a few days and just go for like a couple weeks and get to see some sights, experience a culture, try some new food. Uh, take pictures, be a tourist without being too touristy. Don't be that much of a cringy American, but you get my idea. Just don't get seasick on the way. Uh, well, I don't think we would need to travel by boat. Um, and yeah, believe me, I know the seasick warning all too well because I have gotten seasick in the past. It's not fun. It's 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 not fun to feel that. Um, I'd know as much from the times I went to uh, I went to fishing trips with my dad. There was a uh, there was a trip that me and my dad went to, where. It was like a, it was specific to tuna, like yellowfin and blackfin tuna. Oh, hello. This is the resting place of we, the Lord, the Lords of Doors. I am Lord Lockstone, from whom this crypt was named. We Lords of Doors were an anomaly, a mistake of the universe, some might say. But this is, but is that not apt, an apt description of all life? A mistake of the universe, one which grows and thrives. Existence born into consciousness. And to preserve that consciousness is the most important and noble goal. Here lies Lord Lockstone, the first Lord of Doors to make a death with a deal with death. A death with deal. Their legacy is in, inestimable inestimable and their reign absolute. A code a cold ruler concerned with law and order who who consolidated power and would go on to build the foundation of the Hall of Doors. But yeah, um, basically, went on a tuna trip with my dad, and I proceeded to get seasick for most of the first day. It's not fun. Would not recommend being seasick ever. Drink Gatorade, and just make sure you're... you're I don't know. Find motion sickness pills or something that can help. I see. Entombed alongside the, lo the old lords. I suppose some would call it an honor. I would call it a tragedy. This way again. Ah, the door, right. Hunting souls for breakfast, lunch, and <sighs> no. Uh, 
Oh, that's different. What? Ah! Aha! Oh, right. Oh, it's like the little, uh, the, the laser eye things from Zelda. But yeah, the biggest worry for me in regards to the plane is just hoping that I'm not stuck with, like, a really tight, packed plane for god knows how many hours, because, let's face it, um, plane rides can be quite uncomfortable for people of my stature. Basically what I'm saying is tall people don't do very well with planes, historically, because our legs often are too long for the seating and we end up having to sort of scrunch up a little bit. We turn into shrimp people. Like, like, I'm thankful that my brother's not going to have, doesn't, isn't coming with us. Not in the sense of like, oh, you know, how lame to have my brother with me. No, it's because he's six foot five. And most of that height is in his legs. So he would have the worst time handling a plane for, even for a couple hours, let alone however long it would take to fly from the Midwest of America to Europe. took a bit. Here lies Lord Theodore, the first successor in the lineage of lords. Their transition to power was smooth and their reign. Egalitarian? What the fuck is that word? Okay, Google. Define egalitarian. Relating to or believing in the principles that all people are equal and deserving equal rights and opportunities. Huh. That's a... Wow, I have never seen that word before. Remembered for their fair nature and enforcing better working conditions for reapers. Oh, so this guy was a good... So he was a good boss. Nice. This guy got lucky to be buried next to the good boss. My life is ending, but this Lord plans to live forever. It doesn't feel fair to me. I mean, seriously, this ba this asshole somehow is lucky enough to have a to be born with a silver spoon in his mouth to get forty dollars an hour and only works four day work weeks, whereas I'm working six days. Six day work weeks and only getting paid nine fifty. I'm going to piss on him someday. Alright, I think I need to heal. There we are. 
I still think they ought to tone down that flash. Like, in some kind of future update. I don't, like, I don't know if the updates for this game are done or anything, but... I feel like toning down that flash would be really good. this way. Ancient crown. It feels unusual to the touch, as if once contained life. Okay. So I got a, a key. Now where is the door for the key? I can't unlock that. Lovely. See you, man. See you, Combo. Thanks for dropping by.
it's so cold. I need my Snuggie. Only $19.99 plus shipping and handling. this key. Still don't quite know what to do with this key. So it's just at these areas. I mean, I have a gun up here. Might as well take a look. This is where I got the key, so I have no idea where to use it. Okay, this leads back here. Hmm. Is there a door? No, that leads to the place I just got the crown from. Ah! There we go. There we go. Whew, okay, that was a little dicey, but we did it. Heal ourselves up. Okay, last one. Posted in this for posted in this fortress, I have learned a great deal about the old lords of doors. Still don't much care for them. I mean, yeah, they gave me... But yeah, <laughs> yeah, they only they only started giving us sick leave when they... Or sick leave when we began unionizing, man. It was just bullshit. Some of them are just kind of weird. new secret power-up. Huh. Sorry for yawning so much, I just... You ever have that moment where it's not until you get into an activity that you just start yawning a whole bunch? I've been having that a lot with my streams lately.
Damn, this track slaps. If I was only two hits from death on that, I wasn't going to last well against that one. Well, that was a massive mistake. Yeah, I'm just gonna let myself get killed. There we go. All right, let's try this again. There we are. And then peck at this guy. Peck. God damn it. Motherfucker. These mace guys. They give me trouble. They give me trouble. At least this is good music to listen to while I'm dying over and over. Yeah, alright, 
this is a lost attempt. Did I win on that attempt? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. God damn. Alright, what do I get out of that? A gift to a fellow crow to aid your quest. Shot spell. Okay. Finally, I get this thing. Okay. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. What's this? This appears to be Reaper's abandoned logbook. The removal of the legacy door has seriously impeded my investigation into the disappearance of the Reapers in the redacted region. This whole process of transferring to the new system has been a nightmare. I have found evidence that many workers were active in the region when the, lo when the orders were given to cut them off. More worrying still is that the... More worrying still is that the active reaping mission in the area was also purged from the system. Somewhere out there is a soul that has not been reaped on time. It's a recipe for disaster, that's for sure. We all know what happens to souls if they remain alive past their death date. I mean, I don't, but cool. And it doesn't cost any magic to use. Perfect. Why did I fall? Oh, this is the bus station. Or, yeah, I think this is the bus station. Yeah, bus, bus. <laughs> See, even crows have a better transport system than we do. I don't know why anyone was complaining. These things are adorable. And they like, and they like the same TV shows as me. Aww. Yeah, what are those little guys? They're adorable. I like them. They're funny. They're they're just little dudes. They're little amigos just hanging out. All right, I think I've got. Oh god, I have plenty. Yeah, upgrade that. Okay, so now I can finally check out some of the spots I've been meaning to try out. door opens. Okay. Goody, 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 goody.
Yeah, that was my bad. I was just kind of in his path. Shame I was doing well there, too. Is the game breaking? What? Boss fight broken? Logo spinted? we are. Got him. Now I got a hookshot upgrade. Yeah. Your hookshot spell now does a powerful slash if you use your sword while being pulled towards a target. Ooh, that sounds cool. Still need to get the upgrades for the bow and the bomb spell too, though. Hmm. I may encounter them if I explore a little more. But for now. Actually, I should probably explore a little more now that I have the capability to. I can kill him. It's just, uh... I just needed to be a bit more prepared.
looks like the fire is probably a better thing to go with here. These guys are kind of the kind of my carn kind of my big rivals through this game. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Fireball, 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 fireball. <sighs> Got an ink covered teddy bear. This would be very cute if it wasn't so disgusting. Thanks. Th th yeah, yes, thank you, video game. Thank you. Please tell me the teddy bear still counted. Okay, good. There are weaknesses in the walls the eye, that the eye can't see. Beneath a wooden walkway, a secret waits for thee.
There we go. Hey, life crystal. I'll take it. Beautiful. So that's like one out of four, I believe. So beneath the boardwalk's a secret. I'm trying to think what it would refer to. Weaknesses in the walls that the eye can't see beneath the wooden walkway a secret waits for thee. Beneath the wooden walkway and in the walls. Already been that way. Hmm. Wait, beneath I wouldn't. No, that no game wouldn't do that. Probably figure out that secret another time. Anyway. We now have a grappling hook, which means... We can get a bunch of stuff. Okay, so that brings it to me, me to it, so no to that. Where am I going? <laughs> I went in a completely different direction than I was supposed to.
It is nice that that doesn't cost any magic to use. It's really useful. Oh, it's slightly higher. Okay. I don't think I don't figure it out by using multiple spells game. Ha ha. All right, now what's over here? It is a hole that leads to a different area. Where does this... Oh, hello. Life was not easy. The balance of the universe was my duty and mine alone. The Lord who created me had grand delusions about fate and purpose, but fate did not blind me to death door's duty. No other could take on the task of controlling life and death, so I bore the burden. Bore it for as long as I could, even extending my life beyond bounds even set by the set by the pitiful anchorism that is death. When my time finally drew to a close, my successor paid no heed to my teachings. I fear their reign may have destroyed the balance I tried so hard to maintain. What a bitter disappointment they have been. Greatness is seldom free, Crow. True greatness may even cost you your soul. Here lies Dord Deadbolt, the fourth in his lineage of the Dord Lords. Their rule was dark, but produced efficiency among Reapers. An overbearing ruler concerned with keeping order and funding research into other sustainable yes. Sustainable forms of life extension. Okay, so the guy was an So the guy was a douche, but he was efficient in his douchiness. Alright, I can't make it back. Uh, that way, so I do this. Alright, where am I? Ooh, that's a cool move. Right, what is this? I got some kind of signed contract. How exciting! A signed contract? What? Oh! Okay, so that looped. Well, that looped. Um, next. Yeah, that I just got through. Yeah. Huh. Alright. In that case. 
Uh, yeah, I don't see any fit. Wait. Is that? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I saw the other side of that and I was like, is that flooring that I can use? Wow. Okay. Maybe I maybe I'm just a bonobo brain, but that that actually could Wow. If I was not paying attention there, I would have missed that completely. Damn. Good on the game. You nearly tricked me. Alright. Two more shards. Yeah, that was funny. I was not expecting the, uh, the game to have that kind of thing, because all the other locked spots had that, uh, had a wall behind it, so. Yeah. N nice, nice little ruse. A, a nice little ruse. that already. And what I'm wondering is... Yeah, that just leads back over there. That just leads up. So I got that door key. I unlocked here. And this led into this area, which then got me that spirit. I have to find all those other flames to uh, unlock the boss room, right? So, where are the other flames? A flickering flame! Frida, bring me my flail! Frida, I need you to bring me my flail, Frida! Frida, I need my flails! I need my fixing my flails! How much did that Frix Rolish Rolex sit your back? Okay, that's the key. Okay, so that just only served to get me that soul orb. Clearly, like, I have it. I should be able to find the boss room. I'm just trying to figure... Ah, there's the third one. How do I get over there? How do I get over there? Got the Reaper Soul here. So what is it supposed to Hmm.
And then I solved that puzzle. Which then... Right! I didn't unlock this! I'm dumb. Did I feel like the silly person? Oh, if I get hit by the laser, do I have to start over? Ah, oh, okay. So I really shouldn't rush. Listen to him on this side? No? What about over here? Read? No. Well, looks like I'm not learning about his deal. hear what that uh, lock, do lock dude wants to say, so I'm gonna go back to him first. happened to your life at the hands of our chaos. I was never sold on the idea of preserving the course of life and death. Each lord creates the next in succession before their death and teaches them the lord's path. My creator, the lord before me, bound me to their system. All I could do was try and balance the world as fairly as I could. I tried my best to do, the, to do right by the living, especially the crows, recruited into something they had no business in. An opportunity, if opportunity presented itself, child, ending this cycle would be what is right for the universe. My lifetime was too short to come to that ultimate conclusion, but I remain hopeful that others will reach it on their own. Good guy. Good guy, Theodore. Now, the question is... Where, oh where, is the last flame? contract. I'm gonna 
about this way. That's the soul. That's the puzzle that I went through. God, so many areas are now going to be more open with this hook shot. And I get the feeling that I might be nearing the end of the game soon, which, if that's the case, then... Uh... The next stream I do of this might be the finale. Uh, because... So far, this game has proven to be fairly... easygoing, as an experience goes. There are some hard bits, but it's not brutal, and... It just seems like a fun little short Zelda advent Zelda-style adventure. So... And there's nothing wrong with that. I've, I've really enjoyed myself with this game so far. So, yeah, I might uh, might end up having the final stream be the next time I do this. Okay, so that was over there. And this was the magic upgrade. And then this leads, leads back here. Where the fuck is this last... Lord Flame. Because so far I found three, and I'm trying to figure out where this last one is. Hmm. Because I've already gone up there. I doubt he can give me any hints. A creature who knew 10,000 things. All eyes, tentacles, and something wing. Sometimes wings. Nah. Because all this does is just lead back out to the salty area, the, the sea, sea place. Sea pulse. I just looped around that way. Where the fuck is this fourth thing supposed to be? That leads all the way back to here, which was giving me that crown. Yeah, all this did was just give me the crown. legit kind of stumped here. Like, I'm just trying to find where this fourth flame is, and I don't know. Like, pattern recognition tells me, oh, it's probably in, like, the last, like, lower spot, since it's, like, north, south, east, west, cardinal directions. It's the south area. But I'm not, but I'm still not finding anything. Like, I don't know if I'm blind or, or if this is just legit tough to find. Because I just lit that one. took me over this way. 
Yeah, but it's just only let me be able to go up here. And it was through here, and that was the first uh, crow soul to get. And then that was like the first fly of the dang what? Yeah. This leads to the spirit upgrade that I got. There's nothing else here besides that. Wait, I'm gonna check something. Might be something might be tucked. No? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Wait! Oh my fucking god, do not tell me. I spotted something. I spotted something. Even if it's just a shortcut, that's at least something. Hold on. Was this the... No, this was not it. I, th I think I spotted something. And I feel dumb for not even seeing it earlier. Just trying to figure out where I'm going first. see it now. Yep. Yep, figured as much. That okay. There it was. Yep, that was that was the problem. That's what, that was the problem. I wasn't wise enough to see. There. Ugh, oh, man. I, will, I blinded that pretty badly, I will say. Okay, who is this person? Here lies Do Lord Opengate. You know, Theodore... I like the name Theodore more. The third in the lineage of lords. Their rule was steady and without hindrance. A ruler skilled in a delegation. They spent many of their years expanding their knowledge while traveling the vastness of space. Okay. And there. Dunzo. Alright, what have you got to say, Open Gate? You and your very on-the-nose name. Greetings, young reaper. Your presence here is quite a conundrum. It would indicate that the course of events which started the formation of Death's Door has led the universe to the brink of great peril. However, it is also indicative of, indicative of those actions correcting themselves. Life is merely the universe experiencing itself. And as the universe seeks balance in all things, we, as parts of it, are acting to maintain that balance. Stay true to your path, young reaper, and I can sense victory in your future. That is an interesting way to put it. Life is just the universe experiencing itself. Hmm. That's an interesting quote. I'll keep that one in mind. Okay. Boss fight time, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Alright. Here we go. Maybe. 
plant sheep. Okay, that's the entrance. This way to our camp. See you soon. Getting the upgrades for melee combat is really nice. Okay, what have we got here? Camp of the Free Crows, old friend. We knew you'd make it here eventually, even if you needed a bit of guidance along the way. <laughs> we are a group of free-thinking individuals who reject the ideas of Lords of Doors. We do not want their unnatural immortality if it must come at the cost of our lives. What is important? What is the point in living forever if it, if it is to become as a slave? No, we choose to live free and die free. So go, climb ever higher, defeat the beast at the top of the mountain, and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. Oh, so it's just a bunch of crows that are living their merry ways here. Alright. Well, I'm gonna just grab the key and keep going. Make sure you're well prepared. Wait, would that mean that there's... Be slayer via the old watchtowers. Wouldn't that mean that I'm... What? Wait, what's the final boss then? Wait, do I beat this third Lord Soul and it's like, oh, you, you got all of them? This way to the Frozen Canyon. Exercise caution. I'm just gonna take a look. Ice physics. Yep. There we are.
Oh, come on. That was worth it. The ancient shrine offers a shard of vitality. Sweet. Okay. Um, I wouldn't think they'd put us at the final boss like this or at the end of the game super quickly. Like... I imagine they'd let me explore more after beating this boss, so I think I'll go ahead and fight, and then after I beat it, I'll end the stream. Phew, it's, uh, it's quite a steep climb getting up here. My pipes are still wheezing. You must be pleased as a punch, though. I mean, a secret, a secret crow society up here on the mountains, who knew? And they have so many great stories about their lives up here, especially about the beast up top the mountain. Yeah, I'm getting so much inspiration on our adventure. I think my next song might be the greatest I've ever written, and I've written more than five. <laughs> nice counting, pal. Wait! I think I saw something. No! Let me go back down! No! 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 Ah! Bomb! Ha! What's in here? Another knickknack. Found a shiny medallion. You're a real winner. You're a real winner, champ. Excuse me, just drink a little water. The old watchtowers. Well, this looks cool. All right, what have we got here? Actually, how many souls have I got? Okay, not enough to upgrade. I fucking forgot completely about about hitting LT that left trigger. Why did I do that? Why did I think that was a good idea? 
But I think rolling into that was a good idea. Laser can harm them, but I still only had one hit left. But that's good to know. There we go. All right, let's try this again. did that, but all right. I'll take it. I live, though. I thought that was uh, going to be an insta-death or something. All right. Let's take a heal since we're looping all the way around. Actually, wait. Was there a heal this way? Or was it just the seed? It was just the seed. Never mind. itself all the way back to the start, right? Kind of. Wait. What's this? That looped it back to the start. Alright, what's this dude's deal? Dang, the weather sure is rough up here. The wind's just howling through my pipes. 
Still, a bit of bad weather's never deterred me before, especially with the beast so close now. I wonder what it looks like. Based on what the crow said, it sounds like a proper monster. All hairy and wild, I can't wait to see you fight it. that noise was. That was just a noise of failure. Figured that would happen, but at least I found the shortcut. All right, let's try this again. There we are. Yes! I fucking cheesed him out. I realized that was a cheese tactic, but I don't give a shit. Oh, thank God for the environmental damage. There we go.
that shortcut. And we're good. I like that move a lot, the hook shot to slash. That's actually really fun. It's a pretty good move. There we are. Use the uh, I use the slippery to my advantage. this go? Goes to an arena. bomb does a lot of damage. It's pretty good. I like that a lot.
There we go. Holy shit, that was a tough one. Okay, can I, can I go back? Is there, wasn't there a, a healing spot earlier? No? Oh. Okay, then. That's fine. Hopefully there's one after this. That was a tough one. All right. Plant. Yoink. Oh, Something's over there. Alright, so this old watchtower. Um. Okay, well, whatever's here, I can't really do it yet. So, looks like it's down there, it is. Unlock this. How many souls have I got? Was it a thousand for the next upgrade? I think it was. If that's the case... Yes, it was a thousand. Um, Reaper's ability to wield melee weapon damage done as well as their reach. Speed of attacks, movement speed. Let's go damage done. Let's put, keep it simple. There we are. And what's your deal? This is it. That's the beast. Oh boy, my heart is pounding. Are you going to fight it? I'm gonna stay well out of the way and uh, take notes from my song. Good luck. Betty. Figured that wouldn't last long. All right, let's try this again. He's doing good damage. It's just I'm dying too quickly.
that rolling move is kind of tough to dodge around. I'm not going to make any excuses. I'm, I am kind of going a little too free bird, for lack of a better term, with uh, my attacking. Okay, did better that time. Maybe by, you know, rolling to the side instead of into or, like, slightly away from her rolls. Like a dum-dum. think I might opt to hmm I don't know this is tough because I just upgraded my damage too so the rolling starts, I should not be attempting to do too much damage now. not why did I do it again do you ever hate being a creature of habit sometimes it just sucks to be a creature of habit where you just think oh no it'll work this time no no it did not work that time and I don't know why you keep thinking it'll work that time when it doesn't God damn it, it's just so close, too.
Okay, I was doing better because I had to stop the mindset of I need to dodge, like, away as she's prepping for the roll. I need to dodge, like, while she's rolling, because she's not going to snap directions on me. This isn't Monster Hunter World with the fucking rolling monster. Really? Right into another. Alright, cool. Balls. Oh! Hey! I did it! Nice! What was that, like three or four tries? Hell yeah! Drink a little water. Cheers! We did it. We gather here today the more in the passing of Betty. To some, she was a revered god. She was revered as a god. To others, feared as a wild, untamable beast. And to a small few, loved as a radiant beauty. After many lifetimes lived atop the mountain, supplying locals with fur and untimely deaths, she can now rest. Bow your heads in remembrance. Pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. All right, that's the last great soul that I need to get. With that accomplished... Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it. All right, well... I said that's probably where I'd end it, so I'm gonna go by my word on that. Uh, how many souls have I got? Oh, damn, I could do another upgrade. Uh, let's do an upgrade, and then we can end it off on a good note. There we are. All right. Well, with that done, uh, I'm gonna stop here for today. So, hope all of you had yourselves a good time. Uh, the next time I stream this game, we'll more than likely than not be the finale. So be sure to look forward to that. I'll be sure to let you all know about it over on Twitter and everything. So, yeah. Uh, I really do enjoy this game. It's, it's very quirky in its own way, and I like it. So, yeah, just keep an eye out on Twitter and here on Twitch for when I go live next. And, uh, yeah, take care of yourselves, everybody. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.